Hey there guys, it's ID Slat here back with another video. And today we're taking a look at Decimus, Linda, Agent Locke, and Odius C. Ramos from Halo Heroes Series 15. So let's jump straight into it. First for our figures, we have Decimus from Halo Wars 2 with a lot of printing and paint applications. This is a pretty pristine looking figure in terms of quality. I have no real issues with him. A lot of prints. He has that gravity hammer there. I'm not sure if it has a special name, but if it does, I'll put that up on screen for you guys. Overall, I think this is a good looking figure. His eyes are not very distinct, so they maybe could have done something to make that them stand out more. Other than that though, I think this figure looks really good. I'm not sure if they like painted on his head or what they did to get it look, to look like that, but I think it looks very good overall. Here's a look at Agent Locke from the Halo Nightfall television series. This is a interesting figure. I think overall he looks good. However, we can see that he does not have a painted weapon. That DMR is just in one gray color, which is a bit questionable. The dog tag printing on his chest looks very good though. I like that they have some little accessories on his legs as well. Overall, I'm not too mad at this figure. I just would like to see a painted weapon. Um, and then he also does have kind of the part of his armor on his right hand, on his wrist. That looks pretty solid overall. And in case you're wondering, here's what Locke's head looks like if you swap it out on Spartan Lock. I think this looks very cool. Definitely a great reason to buy this figure if you don't actually like the figure itself. This is the latest version of Spartan Linda from Blue Team. This is based off of her look from one of the most recent books that we have received. From what I've seen on the cover art, I would say this figure is fairly accurate. I have really no real complaints for this figure. I think a wash or a dry brushing would have helped this figure, but overall I think she looks really good. I really like the way that Argus looks. Not too many prints on her, no printing on her uh, like lower body or, or her back. She does, of course, come with her signature sniper, the Norn Fang. Taking a look at the Norn Fang, it is very detailed with some crisp prints and paint detailing. I believe that this is in brown and then the rest of it was painted on. This is a fantastic weapon painting we have here. It's definitely a great reason to pick this figure up. Last for our figures, we have ODST Ramos from the Halo Fireteam Raven arcade game. This is a very detailed figure with a lot of prints and paint applications. This is my personal favorite figure from this series. I like that painted assault rifle. It's very crisp and that color is perfect for the Halo Comet Evolved time frame. It's fairly hard to see with a naked eye, but he does have Ramos printed on his chest. He also has a UNSC logo printed on his chest as well. And he has a couple of green stripes printed on the top of his head. Overall, in my opinion, these are very good figures with the most disappointing figure, in my opinion, being Agent Locke. I think Locke is a very good looking figure, but the choice for them to not include a painted weapon in a Halo Heroes figure is very disappointing to me. Decimus looks great, even if his inclusion is a bit questionable. I think Linda's a bit plain, but overall, I, I really like her figure and her Norn Fang. Ramos is my personal favorite with all of his paint applications. I love the way his colors look together. So rating these figures individually, I would have to give Decimus a 10 out of 10. I have no real issues with his figure. Locke, I would have to give a 7 out of 10. I think he's a good figure, but... I can't forgive them not including a painted weapon in Halo Heroes series figure. Linda would have to receive a 10 out of 10. Although she's a bit plain, 
I think they did a good job of capturing her look from the cover art in that Halo book. Ramos, I would give a 10 out of 10. Although his molds aren't accurate to his in-game counterpart, they don't really have the molds for his specific armor and the color, se color scheme looks very good. So overall, I think he's a great looking figure. This series is readily available as of the time of me recording this. You can buy the whole set um, on Amazon for like $30, which isn't bad. It's very hard to track down the Lights of Hank Sang Helios figure for retail without buying him in a pack. But overall, it's still very easy to get these figures. So guys, that's my review here. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like the video if you liked it. Feel free to dislike the video if you did not like it. And feel free to let me know what you guys think about this set and the video in the comments. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. As always, thank you for watching.